I might be in trouble because I'm going to do some intruding. Hi again, welcome back to RC Pi and first drive today for the RGT Intruder. The, well, I don't know what the number is, 86 something, some, uh, 20, 30, I don't know. Anyway, um, we're going to give it a bit of a trail run today and then I might do a few rocks. So for the trail run, the only thing I've done is I've put the, the other battery holder in so I can use a full size 5200 WiPo because that's the sort of thing you're going to be using if you're trailing. And I've also made it a tiny bit prettier by just painting the interior somewhat. So it looks a bit nicer, you probably can't see for the reflections, but I'm sure it'll show up at some point. So everything else is completely stock. We'll go and see how it runs. So I have had to give it a bit of a hand of God there. It's definitely not gripping. The tyres aren't quite what you might hope. And I don't think they're alone either. I have to say, I think the suspension isn't very well set up. I think it's probably a bit too firm for a trail truck. So everything I drive, everything I get as I go up this rock on this climb, it is actually fairly steep. And it's often the first roll for a lot of different trucks. So, see how it does. I don't really want to roll it, because <laughs> it's very, very pretty. That's not going to get up there. It is just too top heavy. Now, I am straight away slightly disappointed in the performance, but you've got to remember it's not a premium truck, it's not expensive. And it's not terrible. Really, you always have to remember that any sort of scale ready to run trail truck isn't going to be the best performer in the world. So in that regard, this thing actually does all right. You know, it's quite good fun on the trail and it's it's reasonably capable. Straight axle, it's got a heavy body, but it's doing okay. And it'll get over most of the things that you throw at it. The main thing is drive something that you like looking at, have fun with it. And I think this will fit the bill for that, for general trailing. It's going to be a lot of fun.
Well, that's our first trail run done, and here's a few thoughts from it. Initially, I was quite disappointed, um, firstly by the speed of it, it seemed a bit slow, but you know, I'm, I'm nearly six foot two and I walk pretty quickly, so for most people, the speed isn't going to be an issue. And I think one of the things these days, people are often thinking, should we have a two speed box in it? You know, everybody's putting fusions in all their crawlers. So if you're going to put a fusion in it, is there any need for a two speed box? You can do that low end for your crawling and you can gear it up to get some good speed for trail running. So that's probably not an issue. Um, the other things with it that I was a bit disappointed with were, well, kind of just the, the bit of lack of capability crawling but again as I well as I stopped thinking about filming and getting good shots and just started driving it and enjoying it I think I settled into feeling that actually it's quite a nice trail crawler um, and you know I think one issue if anybody's got a, a rescuer or a tracker and they used to drive in that they used to just sort of powering over everything because of the portals and the extra clearance on it but you've got to remember this is a straight axle so it actually doesn't do too badly but the next thing is going to be to try this out on the rocks um, I'm going to do some tests as I often do at home on rocks in the garden so stay tuned for those Leave me a comment, please let me know what you've thought of this video, let me know what you think about this little truck. Um, subscribe if you haven't please, and yeah, stick around for the next video of a bit of rock crawling. Let's see if it can do it. Thanks for watching, see you soon on LC Pie.